Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a health challenge, please understand you're not condemned, you're not doomed. The human body is designed to heal and recover. It doesn't take much, folks. Simply removing the bad stuff, putting the good stuff, putting in the good stuff, that's pretty much all it is. If you're dealing with any health challenge, please let us help you. Let us help you change your life today. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, either advertised on the program or recommended on, or on the program, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, please head over to brightsideben.com. You can sign up right off the website, or you can purchase products right off the website. You can go to my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites there as well. You can check out the blog posts. We update regularly, and you can purchase products right off of pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also, if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, make great Christmas presents too, by the way, retinol 5% gel made with a whole bunch of fat-soluble vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no waxes, no fillers, no silicon, no oils, no nothing that your skin doesn't use and need. Head over to truthtreatments.com, check out our, our other fine products, all formulated by myself. With the truth, I got to do exactly what I wanted to do because it's my company. I always had partners, I always had business partners. I had to listen to what my business partner said. With the truth, I got to do everything I wanted to do, which was provide you with the same kind of skin ingredients that I use myself, that I've been using myself. That's why there's no filler in any truth treatment products. That's why there's nothing in the products that you don't use or need because I wasn't using it for me. And I want to give you guys the same opportunity that I had to go to my shelf, to go to my ingredients, and pull out the vitamin C, and pull out the retinol, and pull out the, the fatty acids for transdermal penetration, and just use them straight. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. We also have some, we also post uh, blogs, blog posts on TruthTreatments.com as well. And you can also friend me at the Truth with Ben Facebook page, or like the Truth with Ben Facebook page. We update those regularly with posts as well. Okay, we are talking fats in the skin, as we've been saying. Fat deficiency, EFAs, fatty vitamins, minerals, selenium and zinc in particular are so important for skin health and deficiencies are associated with all kinds of skin diseases. By the way, selenium and zinc are particularly important, relevant when it comes to the fat system of the body and also the skin. You have gotta have a healthy fat absorption system. Your body, your intestine, your gallbladder, your liver, your fat, the fat machinery, the fat processing machinery in the digestive tract has to be operating for you to be absorbing your zinc and your selenium as well as your EFAs and vitamins D, E, A, and K. And not surprisingly, because the skin is a fatty organ, deficiencies in these minerals or malabsorption issues are going to be linked to the skin. Gallbladder problems, food intolerances, food allergens, these are your main causes of skin diseases. 
deficiencies, problems with absorption, as well as digestive issues around food, absorb around food intolerances and food allergies. And this is true about all skin diseases, even dry skin, even aging skin, brown, or brown spots on your skin, acne, but particularly eczema and psoriasis. This is so important to recognize because as ugly, as, as scary, as unpleasant, as cosmetically unappealing as the plaques of psoriasis can be, it's much more significant. It's much more significant than a cosmetic problem. Eczema and psoriasis are, and all skin diseases really, are systemic. They're internal. They're not topical. I remember back in the 1980s, there used to be a commercial for a product called Tegrin, which is still available, and they may be running the commercials for all I know. Tegrin's a shampoo and a cream. It's marketed for psoriasis and eczema. It had a tagline, the heartbreak of psoriasis. And it became a meme. It became a cliche. And it was a source of amusement for comedians and writers and people who make t-shirts, the heartbreak of psoriasis. But you know what? It's not funny because, as it turns out, the heartbreak of psoriasis is not just a, a clever slogan. It's true. It's actually literally true. Psoriasis can literally break your heart or at least make your heart very sick. There's a major link between psoriasis and cardiovascular disease. Psoriasis is a blood disease. Let me say that again. That's so important, you guys. Psoriasis is a blood disease. It's a disease of white blood cells and inflammatory factors which float around in the blood. It's an immune disease slash blood disease. Really, all diseases are, are blood diseases, but psoriasis is sig super duper related to the blood and the immune system. And it's associated with elevated risks of heart attacks, not to mention other forms of heart disease. If you have psoriasis, you are running higher risks for heart disease. That's really the heartbreak of psoriasis. From the uh, journal Drugs in Dermatology 2008 article, quote, patients with psoriasis have a higher rate of cardiovascular risk factors and other comorbidities compared to patients without psoriasis. Comorbidity is a very important concept. Co meaning together, morbidity meaning diseases. Comorbidities are other diseases that are associated with the one you have. And they're really important to recognize because it shows you how linked everything is. Psoriasis and eczema, and by the way, eczema is like reverse psoriasis. It's the same kind of thing in, this, in terms of it involves the immune system, it involves allergens, it involves fats, it involves malabsorption. The same, the same kind of risk factors that are associated with psoriasis are associated with eczema. In this way, they're very similar. Eczema is like anti-psoriasis. It's reverse psoriasis. Psoriasis is when skin cells grow like crazy. They grow really fast, and you get these plaques. Eczema is the opposite. Skin cells don't grow, and you get patches instead of plaques. But they're based in the same kind of chemical or, or biochemical breakdown or dysfunction. Eczema is reverse psoriasis. Both of these are major, major, major red flags for other health issues. And they need to be addressed at the causal level if you want, don't want these other health issues. They're not superficial and cosmetic. They're potential indicators of serious problems to come comorbidities associated with eczema and psoriasis, associated health issues include heart disease, as we said, asthma, scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis, other autoimmune diseases, even cancer, are associated long term with, uh, with these kinds of health issues. The problem with the way your doctor, your dermatologist treats psoriasis is he's just treating it topically. Or, well, you know, topically has been the traditional way. Now they have these super high-powered ones. Topically, they used to use the most, they still do, actually. Tegrin is coal tar, folks. I used to have to, I had a doctor back when I was, had my compounding pharmacy, when I started my compounding pharmacy, he used to like me to make coal tar products that he was uh, going to sell in his, uh, in, his, uh, in his office. Now, coal tar is literally tar coal tar. And it's one thing when you're using 1% in a cream. Tegrin, I think, is 2% coal tar. And it's an old-time remedy. But I had to make this stuff, and I would have to cook the tar in my lab. Oh, my God. It was the exact same stuff that's on your highway or on a parking lot. Hang on. I'll, I'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. back on the bright side thank you for joining us friends our number 844-236-6010 and we do have lines open for you we'll get your calls in the bottom of the hour if you have psoriasis if you have eczema if you have a skin condition you don't have a skin condition it's just showing up on the skin well you have a skin condition but it's not really caused by anything on the skin hardly ever is a skin problem caused by something on the skin. Occasionally there's a dermatitis or a rash of some kind. Hardly ever. I get people telling me, oh, I think it's my shampoo that's causing it, or I think it's the hat I'm wearing. I've had people tell me that their acne is caused by hats or by makeup. No. Skin conditions are internal conditions because the skin is the internal part of the body inside out. The skin is equally internal as uh, your liver or your spleen or your heart. It just happens to be on the outside. If you have a skin condition, you have an internal condition, this is so important to recognize because if you don't address it, it's going to get worse. And it's not going to get worse necessarily cosmetically. It's going to get worse internally. And these are where these comorbidities or these other diseases come from that are associated with psoriasis and eczema, including cancer, autoimmunity, and heart disease, the big ones, the big ones, folks. And the topical stuff, and even now with these uh, high-powered so-called biologics that are considered to be treatments, don't work, period. You may get some super, if you're lucky, you may get some super benef- superficial benefits from, uh, from some of these uh, of these high-powered ones, but it's incredibly expensive now. But it's not going to take care of the problem. I remember when I was a, uh, I started my compounding pharmacy many years ago. I was, I had a doctor I was working with, and he wanted to sell eczema and psoriasis products in his in his uh, in his office. And he was really fond of coal tar. And I didn't know, you know, I needed the money, and I was starting my business, so I told him I'd do whatever he wanted. And he wrote me this order for dozens of bottles of coal tar solution and I, or coal tar cream or lotion, and I had to make it in my lab and I had to boil the coal tar. Oh my God, have you ever driven by a highway when they're, when they're paving it? That's what it smells like. If you're using a one or 2% product, and that's what most coal tar products are, one or 2% because it's so nasty. Tegrin I think is 2%. That's one thing, but when you're making it, uh, I, hope I, st- I hope I don't get cancer from making it. That's, it's majorly carcinogenic, by the way. Yes, the treatment they give you, they don't do it as much anymore, but coal tar is a major cancer-causing substance. And it doesn't work. Now, if you get you mirror, you get uh, some of these other high-powered ones, you may, you may get some benefits, but it's not going to make the problem go away. Zithronol is another one. That's one that I just got a I just got a uh, email for Zithronol from a from a journal that I subscribe to called the Dermatologist. Zithronol. Nine out of ten scalp psoriasis patients would use Zithronol like shampoo again. This is how they this is how they market it. They don't say it works because it doesn't. <laughs> they tell you nine out of ten scalp psoriasis patients would use Zithronol again, and then they show you this before and after picture after four weeks, and I can't even see a difference. There's no way this stuff can work. Are you going to tell me that your psoriasis is a coal tar deficiency? This is absurd. And it's still, coal tar solution is still used. It's still used to this day as a, uh, coal tar creams, lotions, shampoos, etc. are used to this day as a remedy for psoriasis. And you, here's the thing, here's the kicker. You don't need the drugs. You don't need the drugs. Yes, uh, it's bad enough that they don't work. It's bad enough that they, uh, coal tar anyway is carcinogenic. But they don't work. This is so important. You don't need the drugs. When it comes to inflammatory and immune diseases, what we need is common sense. That's what this program is about. It's just the common sense ideas. You know, once, once you get this, we figure this thing out, I am going to be unnecessary. There's no, going to be no more bright side. I'm going to switch it and we'll do something else. We'll do some other kind of radio program because you don't need me. You don't need your doctor. You don't need anybody. It's just common sense. Inflammatory and immune diseases, psoriasis and eczema, are inflammatory and immune diseases. By their very definition, mean that something is getting into the blood that's causing an attack, that's causing a defensive response. Inflammation and immunity are defensive responses. If you hear the word immunity in your disease, or if they're treating you by using an immune suppressant, 
then you want, automatically, by definition, you want to understand that you're dealing with an attack. Your body is under attack. And when the, when the body's under attack, it doesn't make sense to suppress the defenses. Yet that is the strategy.